Joe, at what point, and I know it's not at the top of the list because the Mets have so many pending free agents, guys that can walk as soon as free agency starts, Diaz, Bassett, on and on and on. But at what point does making Alonzo a Met for the prime and beyond of his career have to come into play, not just for optics, but for winning baseball games and him being such a part of a new tone in this Mets era? I think Pete Alonso really emerged as a, a full hitter this year. Like, he's not just a masher now. He works counts. He takes his walks. You're seeing him hit singles and doubles, and uh, he's coming up in clutch situations and coming through with what he needs to. If he needs to hit, just hit a fly ball, he's been able to do that. Uh, I think he certainly warrants a long-term extension. Uh, you see what the Braves are doing, where they're just paying everyone, and somehow most of them are below market. But uh, regardless, they're, they're paying all their homegrown players, and I'd like to see the Mets start that trend here and I think Pete Alonso's a prime candidate for it uh, like you said there's a lot to do this offseason Jacob deGrom decision Chris Bassett Edwin Diaz Brandon Nimmo basically the rest of the bullpen there's a lot of decisions that need to be made that I think supersede uh, a Pete Alonso extension but the prime time to work out extensions in baseball and I think it's probably pretty similar in football basically right in spring training, right around spring training. So when the off-season work is done, you've you've accomplished everything you need to do with re-signing your own guys, signing and trading for new guys. All right, now they're, they're getting the St. Lucie. That gives you like a solid month. And you see a lot of players set deadlines, you know, typically around like opening day or maybe mid-late March where they just want to stop having contract talks. But if I were the Mets, uh, Alonso would be a priority when I got to St. Lucie to – try to figure out a long-term deal if that's something he's interested in which i mean no knowing the way pete is it would surprise me if he was someone that was like no nah, i want to see through to free agency um, he's a guy that would end up being a, a free agent on the older uh, side of the spectrum so that's certainly a factor when you're talking about signing long term 